All right, we're live here at the IWF 2024 in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm in the ShopBot booth with Brian, and I'm gonna hand Brian the mic, and we're gonna cruise around the booth. We're gonna talk about some new, exciting things that ShopBot has going on. Thanks, Andy. So, so right now we're in front of the new PRS5 Alpha ATC machine that ShopBot has just introduced this month. There's a number of improvements to this machine over our previous generations. The first and most noticeable is that our table sides are now lowered. They're even with the table deck, so you're going to be able to load material and pull it off from the sides back in front of the machine. We've also reinforced the frame to make it even more rigid to improve the quality of cuts. On this particular machine, we've got the automatic tool change system. Now, normally the toolbar is going to be in the way of your material. If you ever wanted to do pass-through work or longer pieces, you wouldn't be able to because of the toolbar. However, we've designed a toolbar that can drop down out of the way when tool changes aren't taking place and then pop up when you need to change your tools. So that makes it a lot more convenient to load your parts off the back of the machine when you're done cutting. Same with tiling functions? Same with tiling functions. And you would be able to, if you wanted to have material hang over the back of the machine, you'd be able to manually change tools so that you would still be able to access your uh, tool change functions during that tile job. So on the front of the machine, we have a six inch rotary indexer. Now, we found that it's a lot easier to load this indexer when it's on the front of the machine near to the user. So we just, just got it about six inches in front of the cutting area. So you can still access the full table, do four by four cutting on this table, but you can then move forward and access the rotary indexer. And here we're just cutting a decorative table leg. We're doing a, a, a roughing pass using this large uh, ball nose bit. So if you look closely, you'll notice that the components that are mounting the fourth axis are just our regular table legs and cross supports. And this means that you can add a fourth axis to your machine at any time without having to buy a bunch of extra parts. It just means that you're going to lower the surface of this cross support down so that you can get your cutting area even with where your table is and then you just mount your index or extrusion to the cross support. It makes it quick to install and also easy to adjust the height of your index or mounting if you're going to be turning larger diameter or smaller diameter parts. Yeah, so this cut for example right here, we start with a square blank of material. That needs to be rounded into a cylinder for carving, then it needs to be roughed, and then we need to bring in a smaller bit to do the detail work. With an automatic tool changer combined with this indexer, we're able to change out those three bits for those three operations in one process. So we don't have to stop. Most importantly, we don't have to re-zero our bits, which can be challenging with an indexer. This way, the bits are already measured on the toolbar, and so we change them out. We're already zeroed out to our material, and we can just continue the cut. That's a five horsepower spindle on there now? Yep, this is a five horsepower HSD automatic tool chain spindle. One of the things that we really wanted to focus on when designing this new table was that we wanted to make it even easier to fully assemble the machine. So our machines come ready to assemble on site in your shop. This table right here can be built in half a day and then you can have it wired by the, the middle of the next day. So you can get this machine up and running faster than ever um, compared to our older models of, of, of units. So this is a desktop max automatic tool changer. Just like its larger brother over there, it can change tools automatically using a air-powered actuated um, drawbar. The spindle itself is a one horsepower spindle. It's a lot more suited for this size machine, this size material. It can change out any of seven tools. And these tools use an ER20 collet, which means that you can use bits up to a half inch shank diameter. Uh, very important for being able to use large table surfacing or milling bits. So we recently released a second version of the Max ATC. Previously, we were limited in our travel on the x-axis, so we had to have the toolbar move in and out of the cutting area during tool changes. We were able to redesign the machine and use a fixed position toolbar. Again, that allowed us to use larger tool holders it allowed us to use bits that are bigger than the tool holder itself because they clip in now rather than dropping in to the toolbar. And it allowed us to use a larger number of uh, tool holders and tool positions. So this machine can do seven bits, 
and they all automatically zero off of this uh, touch off plate right here. No need to clip onto the bit or make any connections. You can zero them all within four minutes automatically. So here we've got our smaller desktop 2418 model and it is outfitted with a end work jig. The end work jig can be swapped in on any of our desktop models that use the aluminum T-slot deck. So to install this end work jig, we removed half of the normal cutting area, dropped this uh, jig into place. It has two clamps that clamp a vertical piece and a horizontal piece of wood and fences that allow you to easily line up your pieces to make dovetail joints or any other kind of end work joints. There's some samples back here that show some kind of mortise and tenon style joints using some creative uh, tenons. I'm going to help you pull that apart. Yeah. It is just fantastic. I mean, oppor opportunities and designs are just endless. Yeah, you can personalize Gorgeous things. Fit. If you're a fan of certain musical groups, you can add teddy bears. Uh, and you can decorate them for the holidays. We have a cookie jar with candy canes on it at the shop. Well, thanks for joining us here at the ShopBot booth at the 2024 IWF here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Andy Glass with STV Racking and Glass Impressions on YouTube. Thank you, Brian. You guys have a great day. See you around.